ahead and get started with um, arranging my quilt top. Um, I do get a lot of questions about my design board behind me. I made this design board. Actually, what I really like about it is that it's portable. So I made this <laughs> like three houses ago. And so the fact that it's portable has been really nice because it has been moved a lot. Um, I Let's see, the, the room I made it for actually I think had a lower ceiling. So mine is a little bit lower. I actually could go higher if I were to design one for this room, which would be kind of nice. Every once in a while, it's not big enough for a full quilt. It doesn't happen very often, but um, when it does, I just keep arranging down onto the floor. So this is insulation foam board and I'm going to turn it around and it's actually really ugly on the back. So, uh, yeah, not very fancy on the back, um, but it's an insulation foam board. It actually was very convenient because we needed this um, during a remodel when I first made these. And so I had them in the house and I just used them. Actually, that's not true. The ones I had in the house were too thin. Um, I tried using them, but they were too thin and flimsy. So then I did actually go end up um, having them deliver because I was having so much stuff delivered for a remodel at that time. So these are a thicker one. Let me tell you what it is. Um, it looks like it's two inch. So yeah, this is a two inch thick board. I like the two inch because it doesn't bend at all. You might be able to get away with doing a little bit thinner. Um, let me show you on the back. Okay, so this one was blue. So what I did was I painted the front of it because otherwise you can see the blue through the batting. So I painted the front of it white and then I just took cotton batting and <laughs> taped it all over to the back. I tried, um, I think like, I think I tried a staple gun first. That's not gonna work for the foam. Um, so I used this, my favorite craft tape and just taped it up. I should almost replace this one of these days or at least tighten it up because it's gotten really loose. So I ended up making two um, of these because I think I think this is how thick or wide insulation foam board is. It's only that wide. So since it wasn't quite wide enough for one quilt, um, I did end up doing two of them, which is kind of nice because um, when I'm not using one of them, I usually will um, stack it on top of the other one. So I really like that mine is portable. I move these things around all the time. Um, or I can completely move them if I need to use this wall to take photos. I have seen a lot of quilters will mount them to their wall, which would be really nice to have them just mounted, but I like them to be portable too much that I'll probably never do that. Before I made these, I used to just take a piece of cotton batting and just um, like tape it on the wall. And even that was nicer than spreading your quilt blocks out on the floor. I don't know what it is about looking straight onto the quilt top that really helps, but it does. This is one of my favorite things about having my own space is being able to have a wall like this. 